Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, your hostess. I'm a hot mess today. I threw on a hat. I just received a package from my friend Ashley at CNC Farm. I'm super, super excited about this. Uh, Ashley just celebrated a birthday, and she gave away some seed. And we're going to look inside the box and see what all she sent. Look at all the seeds, y'all. I'm going to see if I can turn the box where maybe they won't all fall out. There is a lot of seed in that box, Ashley. Wow. Thank you so much, my friend. I am super, super excited to be receiving garden seeds and flower seeds and who knows what all's in this box. We're going to go through it together and find out. Uh, I did go through it a little bit before I came on camera. So I do know a little bit about what's in here, but we're going to start out with some flowers. We've got marigolds, and I'm assuming that Ashley has grown some of these seeds and um, saved them herself, or she's divided up some packages of seeds that she received. So I really do appreciate the marigolds. It's one of my favorite flowers to plant in a garden. And uh, it always brings in the bee, honeybees and the good pollinators. So we want to make sure we've got lots and lots of flowers planted throughout our garden this year. She sent me some blue morning glory. I've planted this before. I know exactly what to do with that. So thank you very much, Ashley, for that one. We've got some Shasta daisy seeds. So that's exciting to get. Uh, we've got some Single Sensation Cosmos. That's another flower seed. Uh, we've got some Leisure Cilantro. That's an herb, and I love cilantro. Cilantro is actually very good for cleaning uh, metal toxins out of your body. So if you do a lot of soldering or work with a lot of metal, that is a very good herb to have on hand. Some Savory can't wait to get into this. I don't think I've ever planted savory, so we'll have to do a little research on that. Some beautiful forget-me-nots. I love the forget-me-nots. I love blue flowers. Some mammoth Russian sunflower seeds. Some zinnias. Great flowers to have in your garden, both of those. <coughs> This is a flat leaf Italian parsley. This is another herb. It's great to grow. I like to uh, grow it, get it dried, and get it into my pantry for long-term storage and flavor all those soups and different meals that I put together. We've got some four clocks. These are beautiful flowers, and I'm hoping that I can grow them here. So we're going to try to grow those. We've got some burpee sweet corn, burpee sweet corn, and carrot royal chantilly, so we're going to try that. I've actually got some carrots growing now, and I hope to be able to plant some more. You can companion plant your carrots with onions. We're doing a lot of companion planting this year. Um, my husband's actually been out in the yard working moving some stuff around, getting ready to prepare our garden area. We've got some bush top crop green beans. And we have a second package of those, so thank you very much. Can't have enough green beans on my shelf. We've got some yellow of Parma onion. I don't think I've ever grown those, so we're going to try to grow those from seed. And we've got some yellow sweet Spanish onion seed. So those will be great to have on hand. Delicious tomato. And chicolite huckleberries. I don't think I've ever had huckleberries, so we'll try that also. Lavender, I have had trouble in the past growing, but I'm going to try it again. I've got the seeds, so we're going to try to get this 
going good and get it planted in my flower bed out front because that's where I keep all my perennials at. And Swiss chard. And y'all, these four four dollar seeds are always 100% non-GMO. Most of the time, they're seeds left over from the year prior to, and we know that seeds will last for several years. So don't be afraid to buy these. They plant wonderful. Uh, I get a lot of the 50, 50 cent seeds at Walmart and the 20 cent seeds at Walmart as well. So don't be afraid of purchasing those cheaper seeds because they grow just as well as the expensive ones. This is a Roma tomato from Dollar Seed. It's a non-GM organic heirloom seed. So I'm excited about that. And uh, Corn Bodacious is another non-GMO organic heirloom seed. So we got that one as well. We'll try the corn here. We have a lot of deer in our area. Um, so I'm hoping we'll have a place that we can plant this where they won't get to it. Summer squash. That's always a winner for me in the garden. I usually do very, very well with the squash. Although last year, squash bugs got to all my squash plants. So we really didn't get much out of them. But companion planting should eradicate that problem. So we're going to be doing a lot of companion planting in our gardens. Uh, container variety sage. Love sage. And I always love to use this fresh, and I put some in the freezer, and I will put some in my dehydrator, or I will hang it around my house to dry. My preferred method is to dry it, but occasionally I want something a little more fresh. This is King of the North Peppers. Uh, it's a USDA certified organic. Look at the size of that pepper. That is a huge pepper. Can't wait to get that growing in the garden. We've got some blue flax. Um, I'll have to do some research on that one. Purple Vienna Kohlrabi. So I'm looking forward to growing that as well. You've picked out some really nice seeds for me. Ashley, I truly, truly appreciate it. We still got a lot to go through. This is a snowball cauliflower. Now, cauliflower and broccoli, I believe, is an onion companion. So I can plant those with the onions. So I'm looking forward to trying to grow these. I've never had any luck in the past growing cauliflower or broccoli, but we may try it again this year, and hopefully we'll have a successful time of it. Mushroom basket tomato. I have never grown this variety. I am looking forward to seeing what this looks like and how it tastes. I bet it is a unique looking tomato for sure. We've got some borage. So this will be really, really good in the garden. A lot of these are medicinals that she sent me as well. So we'll have to look those up. And some champion radish seeds can't wait. I've got a variety of radishes growing out right now with some onions, and I plan on planting behind to keep our radishes going throughout the summer months because me and my husband both love to have some radishes. Sugar snap peas. I love some sugar snaps, so those will be great to plant. This is... Um, Seeds of Change, Certified Organic, Bloomsdale Spinach, and I love spinach, y'all, and you can freeze spinach, you can dehydrate spinach, you can eat it fresh, you can eat it in a salad, it is such a versatile vegetable, love it, love it, love it. Let's see what else we have in here. We have another radish variety, so we'll take care of that. And we've got some more Shasta Daisy seeds. Looking forward to planting those. And marigolds. Marigolds are great to plant. My neighbor raises has honey beehives, so these flowers will come in handy for his pollinators as well. 
So that's a double blessing there. Ashley, thank you so much. Uh, we've got a perennial mix by American Seed. That's going to be so pretty. That looks kind of like a border. Um, it grows 12 to 36 inches. So this is going to be very tall and it's a perennial. Perennials come back every year. Annuals you have to plant every year. And we got two um, pollinator North American native wildflower mix. And they came from Bear for Bioadversity and St. Charles County Master Gardener. So those will be very, very nice to plant as well. And my flowers, again, will be planted throughout my garden area. Um, because flowers draw in those good pollinators. We've got a few more packages here. We have curled cress. That will be great. Um, Madhu Ross Rajasthan Honey Melons. So that's a variety of uh, honey melon. Looks very, very sweet and tempting right now. I love some melons. And some goji berries. We'll have to get those planted. And I haven't planted those before, so we'll try those out. And um, see how they go. So these are going to be great seeds to have in my garden. And I've got lots and lots of seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. Thank you so much, Ashley. Such a generous person, as she really and truly is, um, and she has a great video content on her channel, y'all. Y'all make sure you go by and wish her a belated happy birthday from the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch and let her know that I have received the package. I'm super, super stoked for the garden season this year and looking forward to having some fresh vegetables in our garden. Thank you everyone for watching and may you be fully blessed.